Hello, my name is Harry Van Cow. I'm a software engineer at the MathWorks. In this presentation, I'm going to talk about common model surgery techniques. Model surgery is a workflow where, after importing a model, we need to do a couple of modifications to a layer graph in order to get predictions. The model that we're going to look at today is from OpenPilot. OpenPilot is an open source driver assistance system which uses a deep learning model for both perception and control. The open pilot model that we are looking at today has been resaved into a saved model. Saved model is a format used by TensorFlow 2 where the entirety of the model can be stored into a single folder. Keep in mind that this is not a file. In our case, it is a folder called SuperCombo in our current working directory. I'm going to begin the workflow by calling import TensorFlow layers. The first argument is the path to the saved model folder and we have some additional name value pairs to specify that we want a layer graph for a DAG network and that we want to create a layer graph for a regression. We can see here that the function has returned a layer graph for us to do model surgery on. The next thing we want to do is to bring up Deep Network Designer in order to find any possible errors to do our model surgery. To pull up the app, we can just type it into the command window. Once the app is loaded, we can just load the imported layer graph. And this is the result of the import. We can now use the Analyze button to see if there are any errors in the layer graph. We can see that there are three errors in this analysis. We can look at them one at a time. We can see that the first error here says that there is an error thrown by a custom layer. This layer seems to be named Permute, and it seems to be doing a layout conversion. TensorFlow images are often represented in two different ways, channels first and channels last. And it's also quite common for frameworks to internally, within a model, convert between the two. And MATLAB should have handled the layout conversion from TensorFlow to MATLAB, but it does not handle any conversions that are happening within, the ten within TensorFlow itself. These can be safely removed without any problems. Back to Deep Network Designer, we can locate the permute layer that has aired out, and we can safely remove it. Now we want to locate the image input layer that hasn't been permuted, and we can see that we can just do the permutation ourselves. So the OpenPilot model's image input actually accepts two frames back to back. And each of these frames is actually six channels of an image that use the YUV420P encoding. So there are four channels that encode the Y, and the U and V channels are subsampled and take one channel each. This is why there is 12 channels in the image. We can now use the Analyze button again to see if there are any more errors or if there are any different errors. There appears to be more errors. However, the previous error in the image input layer is now gone. There is no permute error. Now let's take a look at the fourth error here. Uh, this one says incompatible input layers. The network must contain only one type of input layer. This is because the OpenPilot model accepts two vectors as inputs. One of these vectors communicates to the model the user's goal, change lanes or continue straight, for example. And the second vector input is RNN state. So this is just a recurrent input that comes from one of the outputs of the model in the last time step. To work around this error, we can change these two feature inputs into image input layers with size 11C. This will make sure that the network contains only one type of input layer.
back to Deep Network Designer, we can locate the two input layers, which should be somewhere down here. And they should be color coded as blue. We can then take image input layers and replace them. Take care to remember to set the normalization to none in these input layers, since by default they are set to zero centered. Now we can analyze this layer graph again and see if there is any problems. So now let's see, we have two errors now that's fewer than four. We can take a look at this error here. So this error we can safely ignore as the network is already trained. It's just warning us that train network does not support multiple output layers. Now we're only interested in a few outputs of this network since we're only going to show the perception side of the network. And one of the outputs that here that are erroring out is not necessary in the next demo. So we can safely remove this branch and any unnecessary branches in the model. To do this, let's go back to Deep Network Designer. The branch that can be deleted is right here. Now we can finally analyze the layer graph. As you can see here, there's only one error left, and it's the error that we can safely ignore. Once your layer graph has reached this state, we can assemble it. To do this, we just need to export the layer graph. Back in the command window, all we need to do is assemble it. At this stage, the model has been fully imported and we can run it. This is an example script which will visualize the outputs of the network when run on the comma 2K19 dataset. The model predicts world points, which can be overlaid onto the camera image as we can see here. This was done with the help of a function called vehicle to image. Thanks for watching.